How's it going, guys? It's Charlie the Trucker Boat, and I am back, and uh, <laughs> I finally finished brewing stuff, and I, I splashed him, and then I gave him a golden apple, and apparently it's going to take him, he's just going to need to simmer for a while, I uh, you know, over easy a little bit, not over easy, that makes no sense, um, but you know, just kind of cooking and all that good stuff, but while he's doing that, let's go ahead and prep for another hapless victim, and we just need to get that brewing. And then we are going to need another thing of gunpowder to make that a splash potion of weakness. But I am super excited, and I've never done brewing before, really. So this is like this is groundbreaking stuff. Like honestly, this is pretty exciting. I'm, it's pretty hype. Not gonna lie, it's uh, extremely hype for me. Oh, and then we got one cheap customer over here. Later, dude. With our brilliant sword. This is actually like I'm kind of wondering if it's worked or not. Uh, everyone's saying it's worked though, so I, I trust I trust everyone. You know, I trust you all. That you're not trolling me uncontrollably. <laughs> um, let's see here. I am hungry. I am very very hungry. Do I have any food? I do indeed. All right. All right, and then let's go ahead and drop this gunpowder in there. So that's pretty straightforward, actually. I didn't realize brewing was quite as easy. Granted, I probably shouldn't have been afraid of it that much, considering I've done, like, blood magic and stuff, so. I mean, I would imagine blood magic is significantly more difficult, comparatively. But, either way, let's go ahead and, of course, deal with some of these dudes. Um, hopefully we can get a lovely villager zombie to spawn. I kind of wish I could smelt down this gold armor into... Oh, no! Smelt down this gold armor into, uh actual gold ingots that would be infinitely more useful than gold armor but I shan't complain and the creepers nope all right and then bang you're done and I don't see any more zombies unfortunately oh we see a no spider ow um hmm what a coinky dink what a coinky dink. I am actually a little bit concerned right now. I also go check on our little dude. He's still still a little bit shaky. Still a little bit nervous about what's going on with his life. Can't blame him. He's probably having an identity crisis right now. All right. Down this guy goes. And let's just... Oh, there he is. I want to name you something. I should name you like Jack Bean Nimble or something strange. All right. And... Let's go ahead and go up here. Say hello to these skeletons. Whoops, a little bit too far. Got a little bit too excited there. Oh, chainmail. Oh, buddy. Whoa. Well, you can't have cool looking armor. No, that's not a thing. Rude. I'm the hero of the story, darn it, not you. You sheep are very confused. You are in the very wrong place. Um, hmm. All right, well, I don't know. We lost one of the villagers on I didn't do anything to him, so I guess he just kind of died or something. <gasps> no! Is this a, I'm going to flip my... I'm going to flip my lid if that's a cleric. I'm going to just flip several doodles over, like... Uh-oh. Wait. Hold on. Oh, it's a librarian. That's okay, honestly. Access to that. All right, buddy. Um, all right. I don't mean to make you feel very awkward, but you're getting locked in there. Oh, I probably should put a torch in there so you don't get like wrecked by a spawning in zombies and stuff. Um, let's see here. We have our first neighbor. His name is Mr. John. I'm going to smack him upside his booty and then I will not go on about this freaking song because it is getting really weird and I don't want to go along with it. <gasps> no. Whoop. That is flint and steel. <laughs> um, all right. So that was interesting. I don't. Okay. Silk touch, though. Pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Pretty down. All right, so he is living in a lit, lit up little dome. It's not even a honest to God place. It's more of just like a sad little prison. Um, but we now have 
a villager. So ultimate villager hype, like right now. And we need to just find one more zombie villager. And I believe I can make them just kind of create more. So Why are they not dropping anything? I swear to God, that's an actual thing. It's like where if they um, blow each other up, they drop the heads. I was pretty sure that was a thing, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. Hey, what's up, spider? I am not a huge fan of spiders, to be fair. All right. And some more creepers. Oh, really? Really? Okay. I thought I had that one, but all right. Spiders, skeletons. Oh, my food reserves are getting quite low. All right. Let's just go on a search and destroy mission. All right. Search and destroy is going well, but still needing that one last zombie villager but I don't think I'm gonna find it which is really unfortunate um, alright there we go there's the triple strike I just have to get in really close before the first hit alright there we go or I get it critten that works too alright and am I finding anything Anything at all. Well, I guess it's daylight, sort of. Darn it! Why did you have to kill your friend? Why couldn't you two be friends in there? Ah, oh, sad face. No, I, I read on the wiki that villagers don't despawn no matter what. So, I don't, I don't know if there's any truth in that. Oh, hello, skeleton. Guess you are just being super cheeky because it's not... Oh, okay. What the heck are you doing? Get out of here. Skeleton's just like, no, 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 I do what I want. <laughs> He's just like, I'm going to go ahead and use evasive maneuvers. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you're a jerk. Needless to say, he died. All right, let's go and explore. And by explore, I mean let's go get some food because I am starving. Not in real life, though. <laughs> All right. And probably shouldn't use that. I will, however, use a bow because I have no respect. Ooh, actually, we got a fair bit of wheat going on. Hmm. Oh, that's not what I want to do. All right. And... Nada. All right. So we need to go get ourselves some food, which I believe we can actually do via this, at this point. And then let's put the seeds here. Got to replace what we take. Self-sufficiency, don't you know? All right. Then we'll put that down, put that down, put that down. Look at our glorious farm. Producing all kinds of things for us. Arse. And. Ooh, and the sugar is growing too. We are so beautiful right now. Because we're doing some sexy stuff like science and whatnot. Alright, and then. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Except I need to actually have like that much, so. Whoops. Right, let's just do it that way. Let's get four things of bread and then four wheat for our nice friend, the Shep. Because the Shep, they need some lovins. And they give each other lovins because they're weird. Reeks. Um, yeah, and that'll fill us up nicely. All right, so bow and wow wow time. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Come get your bow and wow wows. Eh. Gotcha. All right, baby Shep everywhere. Yay! It's a process, but they are multiplying in there. It's a process. All right. So let's see here. We have our librarian, and honestly, the librarians are awesome for us because um, they do trade enchanted books and other stuff. And whenever I think they will eventually re-roll their trades, 
Um, but you just have to wait a little while. Her. <laughs> just hear him. Her. All right. Um, stop hurrying. Let me think here. Ra -ra -ra. Hmm. And. Yeah, let's go ahead and whittle down some more of these trees over yonder. Because I think that would be quite nice. And actually, because we're just, we're actually really in a good spot right now. With one villager, if we can get that one last villager up in here, um, we will be in the position to be able to make... Actually, yeah, no, we'll be in the position to make um, a village... Or not a village. A villager, uh, like, breeding area or whatever. And then we'll also be able to do the iron golem farm, which will be huge. Um, we have to build that a little bit further away from here, though, because this is going to be where we build our base. So we'll probably build that a bit north of us, honestly. But still, should be pretty cool, to be honest. All right. And we have a lot of other stuff to be doing as well. We still haven't built any of our building yet, which is pretty rough, boys. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We should actually... I think what we'll do is... I'm going to start building the bridge. Because um, I think what we'll do is we're going to make like a big old bridge that extends over into the kingdom. Across the oceans. And that will be quite an endeavor. So that's going to take a while. I'll probably do that on stream and show you guys the results. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube. But, of course, for you on stream... I'm sure you're looking forward to me just building. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, gum it. All right. Then we're just going to jump on there. Jump on it. Jump on it. Okay. And, oh, really? All right. Now for sure I can get all of you, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. That's what I thought. No, there's more. Why is there always got to be more? All right. And now I can get all of you. Mwah. 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 Uh oh. Alright, and Rexed. And then destroyed. Like wrecked out of wrecked. Oh, and look at all those saplings. Oh baby. And apples? No, nope, those are poppies. Alright. Um I'm sorry, buddy. I feel bad trapping him down there, but he needs to he needs to be used to that area now. Alright. Alrighty, um hmm. Well, I guess that's it for this episode, honestly. Uh so if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below. Comment and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Ciao for now.